Hey y'all, happy Tuesday, how y'all doing? Just wanted to come on here real quick and say, I apologize from the bottom of my heart <laughs> for not holding myself accountable for staying on top of my routine workouts like I normally do. A lot's been going on, life has been life, and well, we'll get to a little bit of that later at the end of this video. Anywho, I am back on schedule, as promised. Um, I'm gonna try to at least do a minimum of four to five days a week. I'm going to try to keep it to like Monday through Friday, but y'all know the deal. You know, it's rough, you know, especially when you have a full-time job. <laughs> then you got multiple side hustles. Then you got acting class every other Monday, every Monday. So, yeah. And then I got this talent showcase coming up. And that's another thing I forgot to tell you guys. There's so much going on this week. <laughs> So, anywho, I will keep you guys posted on the festivities that's going down this weekend, so I'm very excited. Um, but tonight, since it's kind of late, it's a little after 8.30 right now. I literally got in my door about 30 minutes ago because <sighs> I had a long day just rolling around, going to the auto shop, blah, 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 just running errands, you know. And um, by the time I looked at the clock, I said, dang, it's 8.30. I said, well, I told myself it's going to work out, so I'm here. I'm only gonna do about a 30 minute workout. I'm gonna do like about a 10 minute warm up or uh, a five minute warm up and maybe like 25 minutes like on a bike or elliptical. I'll probably get on the elliptical most likely. I haven't done the elliptical in a while. But um, hope you guys enjoy the show. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I really busted my ass on this bike. It may not look like it on this video, but I was moving. If you pay attention to the distance, I did almost four miles on this bike at a, at a pace of 10, a resistance of 10. That's very hard. My thighs are burning. My legs are burning. My calves are burning. Everything burning. Even my butt hurt burning. <laughs> but y'all, I'm tired. When I say I'm tired, I was tired. And right there, that's sweat. Yes. I'm sweating like a pig right now. Whew. Thank God I got my little sports bottle. Show you my little sports bottle. I actually got this from Amazon a while back. See? Check it out. Yeah. As long as you got some water to hydrate, you good to go. Or at least a protein shake. Now the gym finally empty out the 9 p.m. Nobody want to be in here all of a sudden. But anyway. Whew. I'm going to keep y'all posted on the festivities in just a few moments. Let me get to my car. Then once I get in my car, I'll continue this video. <laughs> hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm back in the crib. Um, finally got my dinner made. Sorry it took forever to get to this part, but it's been a long day, <laughs> put it like that. So, remember when I was telling y'all when I was in the gym, I had a lot going on? Well, I do, <laughs> as far as like the festivities. So, um, I'm trying to look for my sauce. 
Where is my salt? So I guess I'm gonna use spicy ketchup. Uh, I don't wanna use spicy ketchup, but anyway. Um, I had a great workout. I was really busting my ass on that bike. It may not look like it on this video, but trust me, I did a good, hot, quick 20 minutes on that bike. And when I say quick, I, I did almost four miles at a resistance speed of 10. It's very challenging because <laughs> I was really trying to get out of that gym because so late. It's like almost 10 o'clock now. But anywho, I'm going to show you uh, real quick what my food looks like. Check it out for my dinner. This is dinner. This is a pork chop tenderloin with a slice of lemon on top with green beans and some red potato skins. Um, they're like little balls. So yeah, this is what I'm eating today. <laughs> Very healthy, good, eat, simple, you know, TV dinner. You can get in the deli, just stick it in the oven for like 20 minutes and then voila, you got dinner. All right, so besides dinner, I'm gonna set my camera right here. So I ain't gotta hold it so I can eat <laughs> freely as I'm talking to you guys. Um, this weekend is gonna be a busy weekend. I had to shorten this video and re-record. I apologize. I didn't wanna tear down my... Um, Home. So this weekend is a special event. I have a talent showcase with the acting studio that I'm a part of. Shout out to the Performer's Edge. That is the name of the studio that I'm a part of in North Dallas. It's actually in Plano, but it's still Dallas. I say North Dallas. Anywho, our instructor gave us some nice t-shirts because we're our, you know, her students. Check it out, check it out. Check it out, you like it. So I will be wearing this t-shirt at the talent showcase on Saturday. So I'm excited, yay. Now I will not be participating in the actual showcase itself, but I will be showing up to network because my instructor told me, even though I joined kind of late in the season to be a part of this you know, studio session that I'm, I'm doing, I could still go to the showcase and be part of the audience, but network with the producers that are gonna be there. Cause she told me that they got some like A-list celebrity Hollywood producers that are coming from LA that are gonna be down there. Don't know who they are, but there's apparently there's celebrity judges. Now I know one of the celebrity judges uh, is quite popular. His name is Joey Greco. You don't know who he is, Google him. He is the host of the reality TV show series called uh, Cheaters. I'm pretty sure y'all seen the show called Cheaters. Well, Cheaters is actually based in Dallas. I had no idea that show was based in Dallas the whole time. What a small world. But anyway, Joey Greco is one of the celebrity judges. So I'm excited to meet him. Um, the talent showcase is gonna be inside of her local church. And she said that she ordered a whole bunch of like strobe lights, um, engineer people to like set up the music, set up the sound. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited. I've never been to an actual talent showcase for actors or whatever. So this should be this should be fun. This should be quite uh, quite exciting. And it's not just actors that are part of this showcase. There's also singers as well. My acting instructor, shout out to Cassie, Cassie Watson. Google her if you don't know who she is. Uh, she's very very. Uh, experience. She's been in this business for over 20 plus years. She's also a vocal uh, vocal lesson teacher. She doesn't also just do acting. She just, she's also a singer too, apparently. I didn't even know until so she told us. So in her singing class, she has children ranging from ages like, I don't know, five to like 10 and up, like teenager and then adults. It's like a mixture of them. So this will be quite interesting. <laughs> Um, and then, um, let's see, she said the showcase is about two and a half hours. She told us to make sure if we're networking, we're not part of the showcase to print off a copy of our resume and also a copy of our latest headshots, but we only need like one. And she recommended that when we do get a headshot, go somewhere like Walmart or Walgreens and get a matte version, not a gloss version, because they do not like glossy versions. Glossy is not in, glossy is old school. Nobody does glossy no more. It's just a little heads up in case y'all need to know. But what I really like about my instructor real quick, before I start digging in my little dinner, because like getting late, my instructor is very, very determined. She's a very serious person. 
And I, I'm not saying this only because I like her. I'm saying it because coming from her experience and the way she teaches us is different from any other instructor I've been with. I've only had two instructors total, okay? My first instructor was okay. I mean, Wendy was nice. She was cool. She was funny. She was, you know, all about play, play and improv, but it was the same thing every day. We would improv, practice with our partners, do skits. The same thing with the other instructors I had out of LA when I was a virtual student at the studio in Santa Monica. That was weird. I did Zoom classes for a six week master class, which is total bullshit, waste of money. Anyway, out of all the instructors I've had, and I've only had three of them, the best one is Cassie at, in Dallas. And the reason I say that is because she not only teaches you about acting or voice lessons if you wanna do singing or voiceovers, but she also teaches you the technical side, which I really need. Because what do I mean by technical side? I'm talking about like the equipment, the cameras, the recording. She tells you how to format your video. She tells you how to do it from HD to SD and all this other fancy stuff, all these different camera angles I've never heard of. Like, it's different, y'all. Like, it's very challenging. This is the reason why a lot of people don't land their auditions. It's because they're not following the instructions to a T or because they don't have the right camera angle. That's a big thing now. So like, all the auditions that I've been sent by my agent recently for like commercials, they're picky as hell. And they ask for all this extra bullshit. Like one of them said, we want a medium wide body shot with your head and your shoulders and nothing below here showing. And then we want an over the shoulder shot with the back of your head and this and this and that. And I'm like, I don't know none of this. I don't know none of this. I'm still learning. This is why I need to learn from a professional studio like Cassie's studio that I'm going to to get the technique down I have majority of the actual acting down as far as like skits and stuff but the technique is the most important thing about acting if you don't have the technique down as far as like the camera angles and all the good stuff I mentioned yeah you're not gonna make it <laughs> And I'll be honest, unless you're doing something like theater where they really don't care about fancy camera angles and stuff, then you'll be okay. But when it comes to like auditions for like TV, film, commercials, and even voiceovers, they make that shit hard too. MP3 format, like who uses MP3 format anymore? Like get real. That's the stuff that casting directors are looking for. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a lot, it's a lot to learn. But anywho, um, yeah, your, your girl's been going through a lot, you know, the nine to five is busy and don't even get me started on that. My day job is a hellhole right now. As much as I love the clinic, I may have to leave the clinic, unfortunately, even though it's an easy ass bullshit job and I'm just a little, you know, receptionist. Um, they've cutting my hours a lot. I don't like when people mess with my money. When you mess with my coins, I got a problem. So it's not just me that they're cutting. They're cutting the whole entire staff. It's across the board. Anybody that's an hourly employee is getting their hours cut. And when I say cut, y'all, I'm not joking. I work four hours. Yes. Out of the eight that I'm allotted, that I'm supposed to be working, because of the patient census that's, that's low as fuck every goddamn day, damn near, um, yeah, I, I got like 60 plus hours, maybe the last pay period. So it's been quite stressful. So if you see me looking any type of way and I look funny and I got a dumb look on my face, now you know why. Okay. Cause money's flying out the window at the dot, at the nine to five job, money's flying out the window to random car repairs. I got to do just more bullshit on top of bullshit. But anywho, that's my life. My life is hectic. It's busy. It's stressful. And it's affecting everybody and everybody is not happy about it. And it's not cool. But as long as they don't say furlough, the minute I hear somebody say they furloughing or they laying off hospital staff, oh, I'm out. I'm gone. No questions asked. There will be no two weeks notice. You don't need a two week to furlough my black ass. So why the hell would I give you a two week notice in the first place? Anyway, that's the situation. That's corporate America. Corporate America sucks. But this is why I work so hard. This is why I bust my ass to follow my dreams, to follow my goals, and follow my passions. Whether it's weight loss, 
or if it's spiritual, or if I'm trying to heal myself. Sorry about that. My phone has stopped because it said iPhone storage is full. So I had to go in there and delete a lot of things that I did need on my phone just now to finish this video. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, the bullshit storage. I need to hurry up and get me an external storage drive so I can have at least one good terabyte of storage, even though I have Dropbox already that I'm spending $11.99 a month on just to have one terabyte of storage on there for the cloud because the cloud sucks, okay? Anywho, as I was, as I was saying, it's been a hectic week, y'all, okay? I'm trying. This is why I've been slacking on my routine. The girl's been stressed out. It's times of inflation, it's, it's the job, everything's going downhill, seems like, and it's, it's not fun, I'll be honest. I try to keep a smile on my face, but it's really hard to keep a smile when somebody tells you, okay, we're gonna flex. Um, instead of working from 7.30 to four, Monday through Friday, you'll be working from 7.30 to one, Monday through Friday, until the census comes back up. See, that's the bad part about healthcare, uh, industries, <clears throat> depending on the size of the clinic and depending on if it's a private hospital like the one I work at, or if it's government regulated, which is slim to none. I mean, you're not going to see flexing there. It's rough. They're going to cut people because of their budget. See, that's the bad part about private hospitals. A lot of people won't tell you that what I learned is that they don't have enough money in their budget. So to supplement the monies in their budget when they don't have enough patients to cover the monies, they flex half the staff to save the money. Get it? Get it? And it's not fair to us as the employees because we're out here busting our ass every day to show up and we expect eight hours and 40 hours a week. But instead, we're getting more like 20, 25, 30 hours a week. Might as well say I'm part time. And this has been going on since last week and the week before that and now this week. So three weeks in a row, four hours. I didn't ask for all this. But in the beginning when I started, it wasn't that bad. But I guess it's just one of those seasons where when they don't have enough people or they don't have enough business as far as like patients, this is what happens. So lesson learned. If you go in the healthcare industry, be wise where you go. <laughs> make sure that they actually have monies in their budget. Um, so anyway, I'm going to eat my dinner now before it gets cold because it's been sitting here for a minute out this oven. And I will try to see you guys tomorrow. No guarantees, no promises, but I'm going to try. So I've been slacking bad. And I'm going to probably do my next weigh in probably next week because I have not been on point like I usually been on. But I'm still tracking the calories. And on average, I've been clocking at myself at... I would say between 1,700 to 1,800 calories a day. So that's actually pretty good. It's very tough. But anyway, you guys have a good night. I'm about to dig in. And um, I will see y'all next time. Good night.